So wait, did it send or did it not send? <laughs> to go where to go. I mean, I could explore the ancient basin a little bit more, see if there's anything off to that way. Also hit that grub there, so let's try the ancient basin first. Um, hidden station. <clears throat> grub up, but the question is, is there anything that I could have missed over to the left side? I don't think there's anything below me in the abyss. <coughs> I mean, the other question is, is like, what do I do with this? Holy charm symbolizing a union between higher beings. The bear will slowly absorb these limitless soul contained within. Opens the way to a birthplace. <clears throat> Anybody know where a birthplace would be? To open? I mean, if I wore it... Maybe it's the Black Egg Temple? Is that a birthplace? Well, I mean, eating is part of life, and you can't really escape that fact. Unless you've discovered how to... shit. We found something! Aren't I so lucky? <laughs> I 
Yeah. Sorry, you know, when you discover a, a, a boss you killed once before, now has the ability to, uh... have a dream, apparently. Not exactly a happy find. Very quickly, we have found ourselves a new boss. What is your new name? Since you are no longer the Broken Vessel, was it? What do you call yourself now? Lost Ken. Okay. Oops. Missed the bubble, dude. That wasn't so good. What do I even have as my charm set up? Okay. Not a good start. And that was an even worse idea. Great. Let's go to the fight that I just lost. But this time, start with less health. Just kind of manage the the orange slimy dudes a bit better. If I can manage them, I should be able to. Slightly better. <clears throat> yeah, as I was gonna say before, I, you know, set shit. If you have discovered how to absorb nutrients somehow through not through the, the air or something, you know, please let us know. You discovered such an amazing ability. Ah.
Why is it always that, like, after a good run, I have a shit run? Dashed into him. That was smart. I'm close. I, I've, I've almost got this guy down. He's not that bad. Definitely not as hard as the uh, failed champion. Probably about on par with the uh, soul tyrant, to be honest. Only problem is, like, I'm, I'm impatient in general, it turns out, so... Taking that extra hit of damage, entering this fight every time, is probably not my brightest idea. What do you know? There we go. Peace. Defeat the lost kin. Twenty-two eighty-six. I wonder how much more essence there is, and is that enough for another reward? Okay, let's head all the way back. Yeah, I got a crystal dash there. That'd be smart. Wee. Okay.
Okay, so we're gonna go over this way, we're gonna drop down. Wormy! Okay, there's one down. It looks like this area is cleared, okay. Um, let's go back. Let's see what the essence person has to say. The seer. Twenty four hundred would be <clears throat> this theoretical value that she wants to see. Okay. There's still two out there. I don't know if they're in the hive or like somewhere connected to the kingdom's edge. Nothing there. There's one in the deep nest. You know what, let's go to Queen Station, it looks like. Do you have any of that leftover, or chicken leftover? You know, you could use that. I don't know if that'd be something to use. That chicken just sounded really good yesterday. Okay, so we're going to go... Actually, you know what, let's go up first to the teacher's archive. And I know, technically I have to go back to um, the start because Grim's still up there and I do have to take care of Grim. Those things can go, like, anywhere, I swear. That is so ridiculous with the range they have. another worm down. Now we'll go back down and start <clears throat> tackling the fungal wastes. I know I've got a couple down that way. The fact that I'm still like a hundred and Twenty, though essence off of 2400 makes me believe wait where did I think I was gonna go because I don't have oh there's one there and they're saying and that's not showing up in the fungal waste map so that's got to be deep nest map for both of those so Always to the deep nest, I feel like. Let me 
mean, that's my own fault. I kind of neglected to do much with the deep nest. here and into the deep nest got to be something to my right like there is a grub that direction Yeah, I didn't trust you. Ever since the first time I found the untrustworthy grub, I've been extra cautious. So you're a fake. <laughs> Another in this area, so let's go that way. Why did I think I could hit you? Like, the armor on these things, I don't even know if you can actually break it. Close to where Nosk was. But we already killed Nosk, so. But I missed something in this area. stupid. Like, how did I miss that?
Yup. How's it going, Wu? Took down another boss already today, but still got some... Found the uh, Lost Kin. So that is three dream versions of bosses I found. I don't know if there's others that I'm still missing. Because I've taken down Failed Champion, Soul Tyrant, and now Lost Kin. I mean, I've still got Zote, technically. The Grey Prince Zote. We'll see if I can finally take down this idiot. Seriously, I find Zote to be so stupid. Like, the fact that he falls down so much is, like, such a joke. I can't take this boss seriously at all. That's all I hear about is how bad the Hollow Nest is going to be. Like. Kind of interested in like how bad it's got to be. Damn. Terrifying, beautiful, powerful, Great Prince Zote! I mean, that's the thing, like, having... I'm just impatient, that's the problem. Yeah, I, I read somewhere like it's ascended versions practically of the fights, except they don't do double damage. So, I did some of the ascended versions of bosses last night. When we were in that party, I was just kind of like playing around. Like, I did the pantheons, but then I kind of just went off on arena fighting for a bit just to have some fun.
Okay. Really, this was just pathetic. Like, I shouldn't... I don't know what I'm doing. Like, besides being an idiot. Like, I, I did that first phase better than I've ever done it. And then I decided to just go, like, pure stupid for second phase. And really, like, I just have to play more defensive with this guy because he's, like, he's a bumbling idiot. Like, the stupidest part about this is, like, why am I not always thinking, like, every time he falls down, he's gonna release a shockwave. Like, it's so stupidly obvious. Even when he pulls that shit. Another one down, Dark Romance. Defeat Grey Prince Zoat. Not a good fight, but better, I guess. And now I have over 2400 essence, nice. Losers out. Have to be grim. And we're talking vanilla grim here. A oh, wielder, you've returned. Let me look at the dream now. So much essence, so bright. You truly are the wielder.
And that was an achievement. Ascension. Collect 2400 essence and hear the seer's final words. Nice. Honestly, sad, but the one that made me more sad was the first person I feel like really died who I really cared about in the game was, um, do you remember the little minor bug <laughs> in, like, by the Crystal uh, Peak area? I, I really enjoyed just coming to see that little minor bug and every time it would, you know, sing its little song, and I was, it was always so happy, and then to come by at the end, and it, like, after the corruption stuff started to come, and then it was corrupted, I was really sad. <laughs> okay, if I'm gonna fight Grim again, I gotta go to the bench, and I've gotta uh, do... Gotta go with that. Grim is the only boss preventing me from actually trying Pantheon 3, so... If you're gonna do that, then you're gonna do that attack. Nope, not enough time for the heal there. Now I'm starting to observe Grim a bit better. Doesn't help that I'm at one health, but, you know, at least I'm kind of observing Grim a bit more. Yee! That wasn't cool. You? Can you do the bat release? Yeah, that's a, a column of flame.
<laughs> that was close too. I felt like I really had it that time. If only the beginning of that fight wasn't so poor. <laughs> Bad form to have attacked when it was gonna bow. I don't know, that spike tower thing, I just can't seem to be calm enough not to jump for it. And I know that puts me at risk. Every time. Feeling pretty comfortable now with regular Grim, to be honest. I just can't bring myself not to do it. I wish there was a way to hit this. I tried hitting it once. I don't think you can actually hurt it in cocoon mode, can you? That... You know what it is? It's I'm so used to jumping at the start of every one of his attacks. Like whenever I see him teleport in, my first instinct is to to da to jump. Yo, Tom. all gone.
con el gato. Grand performance. Defeat troop leader Grim. Hey, we got something. A charm notch. Woo. I feel so special. Oh, and that looks even cooler now. Okay, so three flames. One there, one there, and one in the hive. Okay. But technically, that should be the end of that three set of battles, so... What do I want to equip? That, and I only have one slot left right now. We could go with Sprint Master. Don't like that one though. I'm, and I'm not overcharming myself. No. Not going fragile. We'll go with just the Gathering Swarm. Build up some more Geo, I guess. Not like I need it, but. We're at 148 out of 155 enemies encountered. You know what, let me look. Like, I know I'm also missing bosses in... Like, I think I'm just missing bosses at this point, so I just gotta find which ones I'm missing. Uh, King Station, I think, is where I want to go. Because I think I want to set up a new warp point for myself. I will say, uh, Grim, that was a cool boss. I like how, how they're kind of... I like the design of certain bosses and the way they play. Grim's definitely one of the cooler ones in the game. I'm at the, the stage where I can start trying to get the, uh, the stuff to get, uh, Nightmare King Grim. Wait, let me see. What's my completion percentage? 96% now. As I said, like, I, I really enjoyed... I, I, the Mantis Lords was, like, my favorite early game boss. It, there's just such a poetry to the fight. Always. If that makes any sense. Like, it, there's just some way... There's just, like, the way that whole fight is, like, is so much fun. I really am looking forward to that. I would love to be able to go do that fight right now. Why 
do I always miss that turn? I always go too low there. I would like them a lot more now that I have the shade cloak. <laughs> and I think that's a general rule at this point. Shade cloak makes everything better. talk to you again. I don't want to talk to you. I just want to enter the god home. <laughs> this door should open. It does! I was really just a grim fight away. Yeah, if you come to the god home too early, what happens is, is like each door is locked, and you can actually see like a, sh a f the shape of the figure of like who you haven't done yet to open it. Don't need the compass. I'll keep Dash Master, but I got two left. Um, let's get rid of that. I do want Fragile Strength. I want the Mark of Pride, I want Sharp Shadow and Fragile Strength. That still leaves me with one. Let's go with Grub Song. A little bit of extra sh sh uh, energy will be okay. But yeah. I did go through some of this last night, so I've got most of like the normal, or a lot of normal versions done. Who the hell's White Defender? I didn't fight White Defender. I don't think I've ever fought White Defender. So, but if I go through... There's a dream version of him? I didn't see a dream version at his boss arena. Must have missed it somewhere. I wait weapon in hand within the Colosseum. Okay, so that's Trial of the Fool. I guess I gotta find that one. Gray Prince Zot. Grim? Yep, there's Grim. What are you? This empty god stands at the Pantheon at a Pantheon's peak. Okay. I await you at a Pantheon's peak. The brothers. I lie dreaming in a silent sanctuary. What, are you like one of these types? Am I missing one of the dream bosses? The dream warriors or whatever they're called? Hate them. Yeah, there's Dung Defender. Oh, I missed a dream boss? Damn. Okay, okay. Markoth. Is he the one with the shield and the swords? 
Okay. That's zero. That's Markov. Okay, let me do redo him as just plain old Markov because I could use the warm up. That was a bad fight, let's be honest. <laughs> I won, but not in the, the most glamorous fashion. Okay, so now Ascended, Markov. And you tell me this battle is... Oh god. There's no floor! Double damage is just so cheap. Yes, most people who have bot bots in their room have a cooldown on them. On commands. And that wasn't a rip, so like... You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Rips in Hollow Knight mean I have to fight my shade. Yeah, this fight's a little harder. The the worst part is is like even if I want to practice these fights, like you can't practice them in the same manner they're going to be for the Pantheon of Hollow Nest. Like that just seems silly. Like let me fight the ascended arena fight with the attuned rules. <laughs> okay, let's try for Pantheon of the Sage. Let's see who the uh, ten bosses are here. We got through Pantheon of the... Oh, I'm sorry, you missed Grim. I, I, the dance was exquisite.
but if I can actually do well in this Pantheon, there should be a Grim fight in this Pantheon, so... Oh, great. Yeah, big if. But I do have the arena fight unlocked for Grim, so I could technically fight Grim anytime I want now. And technically, there's a second Grim fight. He gave me the task of refilling. Oh, I hate this guy. As easy as this fight is, and... I really do not like Collector. Reek Show here. I collector. And after a terrible fight against the Hive Knight, we're back to full health again. So. Not terrible. I haven't fought you before. Who are you? No, I didn't. That's the thing. I've never fought this guy before. Yeah, I saw the name, but I've never actually... Yeah, it was God Tamer. But I've never actually fought the God Tamer. I don't even know where he is. Sunk. Okay, Grim. Because I know Joe lo loves to see the Grim fight. I'll show a Grim fight. God Tamer is the boss at the end of the Trial of the Fool. Oh. That would explain why I've never seen him. I've never actually reached the end of the Trial of the Fool. <laughs> but I could practice against him now. Grim. Just regular old Grim this time. Really, I just started observing Grim better, to be honest.
Yeah, I was just saying, like, the difference between, like, the first time I showed off the Grim Fight or reached the Grim Fight versus today, like, it really is just... I finally learned all of his attacks. You can kind of get a rhythmic feel for it. Um, like, for a lot of the bosses, you'll start to know, like, there's a certain amount of time or a certain number of knockdowns that you have to get. Yeah. So like Grim, I think I had like two or three knockdowns for like that bat phase. So there's probably like one more that I'm gonna get during the fight, or not even. So like there you go. I had two of those bat phases. Six idiots. Um, let's see, we're gonna get back the wayward compass, that one, and soul catcher. Oh wait, no we're not. I misspoke. We're gonna start collecting more Grim energy. Because part of me would like to... Am I missing no eyes? Okay. I don't know who that is or where they are, so... And Poop Man. Yeah, I don't know where Poop Man is. But we're gonna put a... a teleport here. <laughs> I'd like to have an easier way to get back <laughs> to the freaking god home. <laughs> No, there was actually a boss, though, Joe, called the uh, Dung Defender. I don't know if you saw that fight. Oh, is there? even found this path. Don't know why. Who are you? The 
Luke Hermit. To be honest though, like any shortcut would be better than the path I've been taking. I know, I know. Yeah, I did. I was worried like I was gonna lose all my geo for using that thing, to be honest. Like you know, donate your geo, and I'm like, I don't wanna lose all my geo. Because I was carrying around like 10,000 Geo at the time. So I went to the bank and actually donated um, half of it. Or I, like, I put in 4,500 Geo into the bank. Because I was like, I don't want to lose all my Geo. So then like I donated, or I put all that money into the bank. And then I went to the fountain and did the uh, the thing there and realized it wasn't going to take all my Geo. Uh, not yet. I haven't had a need. That's the thing. Like, I had so much... Uh, let's see, where was that? Queen's Garden? Am I going to lose all that Geo? Okay. See, that's the thing. Like, I, I've just... Part of it is, is, like, I've only been playing on weekends because I've just been streaming pretty much all of my playtime in this game. So... Like, my, my thought is what I need to do is I kind of need to start thinking long term about doing my Steel Soul run and not streaming at all. Um, and kind of just doing that from scratch and just going with it. So then, like, I have the muscle memory. This isn't the station door. Yeah, this map is pretty big. See, that's the thing, like, having been the overseer on the walkthrough, like, part of my thoughts have been like, okay, you know, I see how uh, Craig wrote it, and I'm like, not Queen's Garden, Queen's Station. So like he says, you know, do the, his order is like base run 112%, do everything, steal soul at doing all the opposite choices, and then speed run 100%.
Yeah, exactly. So. Oh. So that's how it is, huh? That's how it's going to be. Ouch. That 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 hurts. That's 4,500 Geo that I lost. <laughs> I lost 4,500 Geo. did it because I was so worried I was going to lose all that money. Like, I really thought when it said, you know, give up your Geo, I was like, to the King's Fountain or whatever, oh, I'm going to lose all my Geo. I better put some away in the bank because, you know, that's a foolproof way to save your money. Nope. That's a scam. So, I'm at, um, 96%, um, out of 112, technically. Um, I've gotten all the, the soul expansions. I think I'm still missing just two mask shards for my final health upgrade at this point. Uh, we've done all the essence. No. Uh, I tried it once, got hit, and got pissed off by the idea of crossing half a map. Okay, so that's one Mask Shard that I'm missing. So I'm missing w one other Mask Shard besides the stupid f flower quest. Um, we've got Descending Dark, Vengeful Soul, and Howling Wraiths. Don't know if I'm missing anything with that. I don't know if there's like a Yeah, the um the the ruined flower used to be a really nice flower and like some person, some NPC gives you a quest and like, "Hey, go take this flower that's really really delicate to this grave." I'm missing two spells? Crap. Um <laughs> Oh, they have a black version? Okay, so I'm missing the black version of the Helling Wraith and the black version of the Vengeful Spirit. Um but yeah, so like for the, the flower quest, you have to take a flower from one end of the map and bring it to like the opposite end, and you can't get hit, and you can't fast travel. Any fast traveling destroys it, and any hit destroys it. No. No fast travel. Can't portal, can't insect, no stag, no, no tram, no portal, nothing. You have to walk. Or run. Like, yourself over there. So, no. Um, charms, I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got the, uh, the King Soul. And it says it opens the way to a birthplace. Wait. Oh, eight. Yeah. So I'm missing eight. Um, so this opens the way to a birthplace. I don't know where that is yet, so I'll have to find that. Um, Boss-wise, we have seven bosses that we haven't encountered yet. Or seven enemies that we haven't encountered, and then we still have to get the full entry for a bunch. 
Yeah, I'm guessing I need it equipped, but there's like a few things that are like that. So, there's still some stuff that I have to kill, like, more of. Um... Apparently not. Oh, I have to kill more Mantis Warriors, I guess. The thing is, they don't want me to kill them. They're all very polite to me now. Have to kill two more of the great husk sentries. Yeah, that's the dung defender. Don't know where his dream variant is. I guess I gotta f kill a couple more, a few more of the fluke mungus. Got fluke marm. Looks like we did most of the crystal area. Still gotta kill some more of them. I don't know how I have that. I didn't kill any. <laughs> gotta kill six more of the stalking devouts. Late seeds. I mean, there's quite a bit still left to do. <laughs> yep. So, uh, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna kick off this stream and then get set up for the other stream. Because we're gonna be co streaming Talos Principle today. So. Okay, so, gonna short, you know, take a short break, get set up, and then we'll be back with Talos Principle.